Next up, polka dots coming to Kraken, and that's going to happen on August 18th. So I got a little email, which is always interesting, and they say, "Hey, polka dots coming, and uh, this is a big thing." And I'm like, "What the heck's polka dot?" So I've heard a lot of people in the uh, in the comment section say, "Hey, have you, have you taken a look at polka dot? Looking at polka dot?" And it was the same thing with like Voyager. Uh, people were like, "Have you taken a look at Voyager? Looking at Voyager." When I hear the same thing over and over again, like I can see, I can hear uh, somebody say, "Hey, we looked at a potato foot and I'll, a potato foot coin or a tomato coin," and I'm like, "Okay," and I never hear about it again. But this polka dot has been like the the thing that I keep hearing again and again and again. So, first of all, I have to ask myself, "Well, what the heck is polka dot?" So there's two things that really stuck out of me. One was scale and how it was able to scale. So blockchains and isolations can only process a limited amount of traffic, which is true. That's one of the problems with scaling up certain blockchain types of projects. Polkadot is a sharded, sharded, sharded multi-chain network, meaning it can process many transactions on several chains in parallel, eliminating the bottlenecks that occurred on all the other ones. So this, when they start talking about sharding, well, that's competing directly with Ethereum and Cardano's Hydra. So that's very interesting right out the bat. Next one, it talks about specialization. When it comes to blockchain architecture, one size doesn't fit all. All blockchains make trade-offs to support different features. One chain might optimize for identity management, while another might optimize for file storage. On Polkadot, each blockchain can have a novel design optimized for a specific use case. And this one is competing directly with IBM's permission blockchain because they are going for those huge conglomerates, those huge entities for those privatized blockchains because they're going to specialize. But now with Polkadot, they can, they, they can come in and go, look, we do the same thing and we have a better product. So interesting to see what could happen. Now going even farther, just so you know, Polkadot is now live. Great for that. There's interoperability, which we just talked about. Uh, blockchain innovation. Again, create a custom blockchain in minutes. It's pretty interesting. And this, this part was what got me forkless and future proof. Polkadot can upgrade without hard forks to integrate new features or bug or fix bugs. And I, I, I thought about it, I go, well, there's been other ones, uh, same thing with like EOS. They had talked about the same thing, but there was a problem. However, this one's pretty interesting because it talks about Polkadot as a sophisticated governance system with, where all stakeholders have a voice. So they're going to be able to vote on where the direction of the chain actually goes. So these are the little things that I know about Polkadot. I am interested to see how it all works out. Uh, as far as like the price itself on CoinGecko, right now you were looking, this one is below the top 100, I believe. Amazingly, it is 300, almost three, It was. it's about 350. It's about 350 for one Polkadot, why? Well, if you take a look at the circulating supply, it has a maximum of only 10 million. So that's interesting. However, does that mean it's going to take off? Well, it has a very low supply. So when you have supply and demand, and I believe this is going to have a huge demand when it goes live, we will actually see. I will tell you this though, as far as getting able to actually purchase Polkadot, good luck with that. Here are the exchanges that I see. I haven't took a look at Uniswap and it's not there. So I'll be taking a look at this project later on to see how it all goes. But I can just tell you as before it gets listed on Kraken, I expect the price to go up massively. Then when it gets listed to drop again, just like all cryptocurrencies do. Interesting project, but not in my plan. All right, let's move on.